Now, for those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, this is Mr. Bill. We have documentation on this bike since brand new. Came out of Michigan. It is an original paint knucklehead. Number 10,294. So, I just want to show the bike and the quality of the machine for everybody. So it does need to come down to the bare chassis and be cleaned and so forth. And uh, like all my motorcycle stuff, it's on hold. For the moment, this is the motor and transmission that were rebuilt by Duncan. Ready to go back in. Here's the other side of the motor here. Right there. Now, <clears throat> we're going to talk about the tanks here in a minute. This here is the air cleaner that came off the machine. The idea is how clean this bike is. And here's the dash here. And at this time, they were always white underneath this original paint dash. You see a little place for the light, the Speedo. And when I got this bike, it, Mr. Bill let somebody ride it and he laid it down and they dented the left tank. We had the dent pulled out, but they popped the paint. And I replaced this emblem here, which has a little dent in it, which kind of sort of matches. And then I had this emblem straightened. And I found some nicer ones, which I haven't cleaned up yet, which I'm still, they're like, by the time I get them cleaned up, they're gonna be nicer in the bike. I'm like, uh, <laughs> whoops, like too nice. <laughs> uh, so anyhow, what we wanna talk about is the underside of the tanks. I'm gonna hand this off to my videographer. Here, step in front of the camera. Now 47, as far as I'm aware, they were actually made during the 47 year. Here's the left side, completely flat. Here, underneath, all the same. Now I've seen some pan tanks, the actual tank itself, redone into a knucklehead side later for replacement. They did is they redid the you can see it they redid the petcock hole it's different and here's the right side just a slight little curve here really flat and curved around here just a little slight dent there and around so this is the right side these are real these are original paint and they came off mr bill and that's as nice as it gets uh, just about. We have obviously our Blue 47. We got a little piece here we got to pop, pop out. I'm going to straighten that out, which I haven't got to yet. So, um, but I'm not quite, quite happy with how the guy did this left side. So, at, at this point in time, if anything really happens to these bikes, I want to do it myself. So, um, and which is why everything's on hold because doing anything costs money. <laughs> I can't turn a wrench on these motorcycles without money. And we're waiting to see which way things go. That's why I haven't put this back on yet. But here's the nuts and bolts and the, the crossover line. This is the real crossover line. It's all nice and cleaned up. And uh, this was the original emblem that came off of it. You can see we upgraded a little bit. This is the one that was on the bike originally. And uh, I can clean those other ones I got in much nicer than this. I'm really not sure which way I want to go. But again, let me, let me remind you, this is a real knucklehead, right side. See the curve here in the flat with just a little indent here is what we wanted to show. Because one of the guys had a question. The guy says, oh, it's a pan head and it's a knucklehead. And I was like, okay, well, let me just, let me just discuss this here. So what it seems to me, the picture I saw, and you see how it's curved here, right there. This is the left side. This is to get your spark plug out. The pan doesn't have that. So 47 left and right are totally different to 48 tanks. One year only deal. 
So despite the fact that this bike looks like a 48 panhead, it ain't. Ain't nothing like a 48 panhead. Sorry. That's that. See you guys on the next video. And uh, oh, real fast, if somebody wants me to talk about something in a video with the bikes that I have, my knuckleheads, let me know. I'll be happy to make a video about what you need to see. So I'm, I'm out of ideas at the moment, and I'm not really working on anything because I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm in limbo. I'm waiting. So if somebody wants to see something, just let me know, and if I can make a video about it, I will. That doesn't mean rebuild a motor or training or whatever. Anything that I've got that I can actually just talk about without actually spending money on. Just let me know. See you guys.